without further ado, um, let's go take a look. Oh my god! The sinner's back! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and today we have a really cool story on this 1976 Super Beetle for you. Now what you just saw in the beginning of the video is why you need to watch all the way until the end of the video because this family story and their reaction to the final result is really amazing and you'll get to hear all about that. But this car only has 3,000 miles on it. Think about how quickly you guys put 3,000 miles on your daily drivers, and then think about how crazy that is for a car from the mid 70s to have that. Now the current owner's father was the one who bought the Beetle brand new from the dealership, and he took care of this thing like it was one of his babies, and he sadly passed away in 2005, leaving it to his daughter Beth, who kept it for the last 17 years. And then fast forwarding to today, we were contacted by an engaged couple named Jason and Liza, which Beth calls Liza the daughter she never had, and they're buying this car from Beth to fix it up and drive it in their wedding this summer. So the fact that we get to be a part of something so special and this car gets to stay in their family really makes this whole video worth it to us. Now hopping into the question of the video, leave your answers in the comments below. Being that there's a bit of rust on the car and other imperfections just from sitting for a long time, if you were to buy this car from your family member, would you fix these things up or would you keep it in the exact condition it's in, get it running, and then enjoy it the way it is? All right guys, so it's kind of the cardinal rule not to use Dawn dish soap when you're washing your car, but there's certain applications why it makes sense. And if you guys wanna understand or learn more about why we chose to use Dawn dish soap for this beetle right here, you can actually check out the new podcast that I'm doing with Jason Kilmer, who is uh, a world-renowned detailer, who knows the industry like the back of his hand. And we went ahead and are starting a podcast where we can kind of go over some myths and truths about the detailing industry. And uh, you know, for instance, why using Dawn dish soap on this car makes sense. So if you want to check that out, the link's in the description below. And the first episode will be out actually at the same time that this video goes live. So if you're watching the video, the podcast is up, check it out. So we went ahead and sprayed the Dawn dish soap all over the car and let it break down that grime for about 15 to 20 minutes. And while that was happening, RJ gave a call to Jason to talk more about the roof of this car and talk about how to clean it. So I'll let you guys listen to that now. Hey, good morning, Jason. How are you? Good morning. Good, good. How about yourself, RJ? Good, good. I can't complain. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know who you are, uh, you're Jason Kilmer, one of the world's uh, you know best and, and uh, most renowned detailer. Um, you've been in the industry for a long time and and uh, you know the reason why we're calling you today is to to help us with with the vinyl top on this the Super Beetle, as well as to uh, to introduce everyone to you so that they they can follow along with the podcast that we're doing, where we um, you know go over detailing techniques and and the how tos and and why or why nots uh, to hopefully make us better detailers and also um, give people some information that uh, that they might not be able to find online otherwise. So. Um, with that all being said, what do you think the best way to approach a, uh, a vinyl top in this condition would be after we, we go ahead and wash everything down and, uh, and go through the, the, uh, the standard wash process? Yes. So the, the, the key is first is getting as much topical dirt as possible. A lot of times when dirt settles on a surface, there's more underneath of it. So we need to safely get off as much as we can without contacting it. So now you, you, you put the soap on there, the, the Dawn, so it's soaking. Hopefully it's lifting up the dirt and the brine. Go ahead, rinse it off, and then go with a standard dilution of APC 10 to 1. And um, if you need a little more bite, I spray 4 to 1 or full strength on the brush that I'm using. And then go ahead and just, uh, you know, isolate those areas that are 
that are problem areas. Okay, and then uh, the brush that we'll be using um, will be a, a horsehair leather brush. I figured that the, the bristles will be soft enough, yet firm enough to, uh, you know, soft enough not to damage the vinyl, but firm enough to, to actually get through that top layer of the vinyl and into the, you know, some dirt that might be um, hiding in the pores that we need to remove. Yes, the safer brush would be the horsehair, then the next would be a, you know, a soft nylon or, or even a more coarse nylon brush. Uh, but uh, horsehair is definitely the way to go if you if you can't get all the debris off with it. Gotcha. I think that will be the, the plan of action. We usually in the past have done, you know, degreasers. Um, so I think, you know, using an APC in this, in this instance uh, will allow us to, to start at that basement level and then we can work our way up to uh, you know something more uh, more aggressive if need be so i think uh i think that's gonna be the plan of action and uh yeah i think this is a, a good introduction to to people meeting you and uh and yeah we appreciate the help all right yeah no problem anytime guys thank you have a good day yeah you too So at this point, although the Dawn did a great job of getting a lot of the topical dirt off the car and the vinyl roof, we did something a little bit more aggressive. So we sprayed our degreaser all over the car and it helped speed up the process and get a better result. Now after getting the car rinsed off, we wanted to move on to the engine bay where we use very light pressure on the pressure washer and our degreaser with some soft bristle brushes to get it really clean. That way now when it's time to get it running again for their wedding, it's not so bad for the mechanics and it's not all dirty.
Okay, as embarrassing as this is, I want to give you guys a little, I guess, behind the scenes almost. Uh, and I'm going to leave this in the video, but we have a new videographer helping us out if you haven't noticed in some of our newer videos. And I had music playing, so we just started dancing while we were driving the car. And if you notice some of the embarrassing stuff here, um, please don't make fun of us in the comments or go ahead and make fun of us if you want to. But we were just having fun. It's something that we do all the time when we're detailing. Now moving on to the bumpers, clearly these were pretty rusted and a little bit oxidized, so it was time to take care of that. So we pulled out our quad zero steel wool and some metal polish and wait till you see the transformation on these, it's crazy. Now moving on to the interior, RJ really wanted you guys to see how these back windows rolled down because they're actually super unique and we've never seen anything like them, but I let him do it for the video and then we took the top off, we took the seats out and started cleaning the whole inside. But if you guys know any other cars that have windows that roll down like those ones, leave a comment down below, I'm curious. Now watch all those years of dirt drip off of both of these doors, it's so satisfying.
All right, guys. So we uh, we finished the Volkswagen yesterday, and we're now here with the original owner or the daughter of the original owner and the new owners and, and their whole entire family. So um, without further ado, Beth, if you want to just give a quick rundown of you know where this car came from. Okay, this car is officially known as the Sitter because my dad never drove it. It sat in the garage. This car has never had rain on it. It has never been in the snow, sleet, ice, anything. And it was his pride and joy. And how we got it is in 1976, my dad and I would go cruising car dealers, something we enjoyed. We see this in a Volkswagen showroom. And he knew the owner of the business. He goes in and talks to him and said it was one of three of this particular one that hit Ohio. And so the next thing was to go home and talk my mom into letting dad buy it. <laughs> and it just, it's been in the, car, in the family since we picked it up around 4th of July in 1976. So it was a bicentennial car, you know, mm -hmm. our nation in the car. And it only went out on beautiful days. And as you can look at the mileage, it has less than 10,000 miles on it. And that is original miles. I was going to say, it says 3,000 on there. And you never know if it rolls over or if it's no, actual original, no. original I, mileage. I knew so. it was less than 10,000. I couldn't have told you. My brother, when he got married, this was the car that he and his wife drove away in. Oh, man. And if it had rained, Dad said they couldn't use it. <laughs> right, right. But after my dad passed on in... In 2005, it's just basically sat in my garage. And Liza is my honorary daughter, the daughter <laughs> I always wished we might really had had. Jason and, Ch and she are getting married this summer, so he's going to be my honorary son-in-law. And these are my grandkids. Oh. So I know that that car is going to a good home. Because it's hard to say goodbye to the sitter, but I didn't have the wherewithal to bring her back to for a formal glory. But how cool that um, you said your brother used it in his wedding, mm -hmm. and you guys will be yeah. using it in your wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill yeah. So away in it, and it's a good omen. My brother's been married over 35 years. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> okay. beautiful. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, without further ado, um, let's go oh, take a look. Yeah. Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It so looks nice. brand new. <laughs> oh, so nice. We had no idea it was a convertible. I thought it was just a rag top until we saw the lovers. Oh, it's a little TLC. Yeah. And, um, it's incredible. But considering that she sat in the garage and everything that's fallen on her and my cats have used her, is there a lounge? <laughs> wow. It's, it's better than... I expected. Because yeah. oh, yeah. I said everything's original. <laughs> there what is nice place nothing. Isn't it great? My God. It's like spotless. It's time. mint. It it's cleaned up amazingly yeah, well. Yeah, it's uh, oh it really is probably one of the best like examples of a, of a super beetle from oh. this year in, yeah. in the United States. Yeah. I mean, well, they own, I remember Dad at one time told me how many they made, and it was less, less than a thousand of this particular white on white on white were made because it was like a special edition. Mm -hmm. It's it's so classic, and and I lost my mind when I saw the back window. How it, I mean, you already know, yeah. but. Oh, it goes down yeah. on, on an angle yeah, like that. It gets the old crank, the old yeah. crank windows. And all the cranks are smooth, everything, the seat rails, everything moved easily. I mean, it was yeah. it was like exactly the type of vehicle that we hoped for, that we hoped to find for, for our videos because oh, this um, is wonderful. so many of them are just very yeah. far gone. And the fact that this is in such good condition with such low mileage, and I mean, this is, I couldn't think of a better Beatles to actually, yeah, that's actually yeah. get back up on, on the road. Oh, it, yeah. It's incredible. You yeah, guys everything did, original you guys probably would have been in the glove box because yeah. Yeah. he, my dad was meticulous. He absolutely loved Volkswagens. Did an incredible job. Thank yeah, you, thank, thank you, you guys. Yeah, yeah. So we, so hope, uh, we hope your father would be proud and we're going to throw some tin cans on the back. Yeah. yeah. Just married. Just married on the Love license it. plate, and we're gonna use it in our wedding. These are probably the original. These would be the original wiper. It, it looked too. to be so. Yeah. yeah. As I said, you're gonna have to replace some of it because everything was original. Yeah. Wow. It's but incredible. no, thank you guys Beautiful. for the opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Thank, thank you so much. You. Incredible, uh, incredible job. Yeah. It looks amazing. Us. No, that's, that's I know beautiful. he is. <laughs> um, and thank you all for watching. Yep. If you enjoyed the video and you want to yep. see more videos like this, please uh, consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button. And uh, until next time. I can picture the wedding now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Driving off. Yeah, it really is. Um, well, I would look to see if we have other kids.